Hello, my name is Lillian Williams. I'm a PA for Dr. Turner Wright with the Wright Sinus Choice. I'm here today to give you some post-op instructions for a balloon sinuplasty turbinate reduction. The key to the best success of this procedure is washing and blowing your nose. The more you wash and blow your nose, the better effects you'll have and the better results you'll have. The first thing that we use is the first week is a nasal spray and you'll clean your nose every one to two hours. You'll do a gentle wash and blow. You'll spray the saline in the nose and you'll clean it out. The more that you clean this, the more your airway will stay open. You'll breathe better after the first few days of the procedure. After the first week, then you'll go into a nasal saline rinse. And here is the Neil Med rinse that we suggest that you use. Uh, you'll use bottled water with the little salt packets, mix it up, and you'll insert it into your nose and do a full sinus rinse. The rinse will be done on both sides multiple times a day, two to three times a day in the first month. The spray, you'll do it every few hours still in the second week. So the first week, every two hours, and then the second week, you, you include the sinus rinse with the spray. And so you'll do those both together. Normal things to expect after a balloon sinuplasty. One of them is congestion and facial pressure and pain. It may feel like you are suffering from a sinus infection, but really what's happening is there's a lot of swelling, post-operative swelling after the procedure. So rinsing your nose and cleaning it out will be the most effective way to feel good. These symptoms you can experience up to seven days after the procedure. Normal things that you will see after while you're rinsing is you're gonna see a lot of drainage, a lot of clear mucus, blood tinged mucus, and also thick yellow or green mucus is all very common. What we don't expect is blood that pours out of the nose. So if you do happen to have a nosebleed, that is a lot of blood coming out, not a dribble and not blood tinged mucus. If you are having symptoms like this, we want you to call the office at 956-687-7896. You can call any time of the day. During business hours, you'll be answered by one of our staff. In the evenings or after work hours, there's always a doctor on call. And this doctor on call will be able to assist your concerns at that time. And other things to avoid would be including uh, no aspirin for seven days before and seven days after the procedure as for the risk for bleeding increases when you're on aspirin and other blood thinners. Um, also for pain, post-operative pain and pressure, you can take Tylenol and Motrin as needed. And other things to avoid, one of them would be smoking and also uh, harsh chemicals and stay away from dust as those can irritate the nasal cavity and make you have some swelling and make you uncomfortable. We want you to avoid bending over, lifting anything heavy for about three weeks. The risk for bleed does increase if you have strenuous exercise or increase your activities. You are able to go to work, most patients do the next day after the procedure, but we want you to have light duty. Thank you for making the right choice.